Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today we will continue our uh, programming that related to uh, PLC Omron Send. Yes. In the previous video, we already learned about how to wiring the control and power diagram from a PLC Omron send to control the motor star to delta. Okay, and we already uh, testing with the PLC Omron simulation also. Yes. But in the previous video, we we uh, use the button for uh, control the motor start and stop. It means that uh, external button, yes. But in this video, I will use the internal buttons that build in in the PLC Omron for control the motor start to delta. Okay and uh, for uh, connection power and uh, control I keep the same but for uh, overload I will change the input to uh, I0 because we don't use the external buttons for control the motor and for the output of uh, PLC Omron I still keep the same as the previous video. Okay, so uh, let's go to create the program for uh, control the motor start to data by using the internal button on uh, PLC Omron. Okay, so let's go. I will uh, use the previous projects that we already uh, learned in the previous video. So uh, let me open open the project. Yes, this is a project that we already learned in the previous video. Okay. So. Here I can use I0 for uh, overload because we don't use the external button. Yes, so I will use the I0. Yes, I0 for uh, instead the overload. Yes. So for I0 start, I will change to B0, yes. Example uh, B5 for start data, yes. Start, start a uh, Connection, yes, and B. I will do B2. For stuff, and see also. This is a B5, yes. Okay, B5 for start and B2 for stop. Okay, and for I0 is overload, right? So I0 overload, and this one should be B. Two, right 
stop okay so when we push stop the motor yes it will stop okay because uh, we uh, use the B2 for stop the circuit B0 still uh, reset the overload okay so let's simulation because in the previous video we already uh, created the whole program yes so in this video we just uh, change some feature like overload to i0 and for another input we don't use because we use the internal button for uh, control the motor okay so let's simulation so i will push uh, b5 for start the system yes start the circuit so let's start b5 yes right now you see motor run star connection okay because q0 and q2 on right now it uh, change to delta connection by uh, q0 and q1 is turned on okay so when motor overload yeah it will trip the circuit and show overload also because uh, I use I0 yes let's see here I0 is uh, connected from the overload relay yes so when I uh, would like to start again I will push exit yeah B0 for reset the overload reset it means that reset the alarm before we uh, start again okay so I will start again start connection yes it will change to uh, data connection yes right now and uh, for timer we can change if we uh, write like this so we can change to uh, example uh, 5 second but actually star to delta maybe uh, 10 seconds yeah or uh, 9 seconds to uh, change from the star connection to delta connection but example if we would like to change for a simulation fast we can change to 5 seconds yes so I will stop first so if I start again yeah let's see here it will uh, start two three four five change to data connection okay so it is uh, very simple if we uh, would like to use the button internal button instead the external buttons that we uh, no need to wiring the external button okay so we can use the buttons that uh, built in here okay. actually if we uh, don't have the button or we don't uh, use the internal external button we can use like this okay so thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question, please drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. And I would like to request all of you to like, share, and subscribe my video also to get new notification and new video that I will create step by step. And I'm also sorry if I have mistake in this video yes so in this time i would like to say thank you very much again and see you in the videos bye bye